hello guys and welcome back to my channel so i want to take this time to thank all my subscribers and also the first time viewers and all the viewers and i requested that if this is the first time you are visiting this channel or uh, you are just coming back but you're not subscribed that you may subscribe if you uh, actually like my content okay now every time you always talk about integrating um and present your application but then we never talked about the 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 prior process you have to follow in like applying for the till and then uh, the approval of the till and that is when you can now start uh, integrating uh, into the application okay um mostly uh, of course you are going to use the sandbox for testing but then what is the process that is involved in applying for the chill okay and getting all those credentials that you need so that you can use the chill so everything starts with this website here it is mpesa mm, hyphen for i mean m hyphen pesa for business that here k slash lnm okay so this is the place that you have to come first if you want to um, apply for till or pay bill so you can see this button here you click the press involved that you come to this website and then just click on apply now and what's going to happen is going to pop up this screen here um where we have mpesa business still that is for the till that is buy goods still and then you have the short term uh, the short term pay bill and this is for things like um like maybe wedding like school fees uh, funding things like those you can see medical fund education funeral and and for this they require some documents so for example if we click on this uh, medical fund we find that the document that you need is uh, are like certified documents from hospital and then copy of id back and front and then if minor attached certificate a feed of it and then the letter from the bank uh, or council check and the same applies to like education you need a, you need a copy of file and then institution admission letter so those are for the short so short term pay bill and that that takes like um th that takes like i think it should be for six months the short term pay bill now let's go to this uh, this section here um at this section i'll talk about till and then another video i'll talk about pay bill so how do you apply for the till and then the process of approval so you click on this and there are various types of um there are various categories of business still so you have the individual that settles in owners and pesa only so remember that for you are for for you are for you to integrate uh, a till into the website you need to settle it has to have the capability of settling the money into your uh, bank account okay the owner's bank in person bank account actually okay so you can see that you have the individual option and this one settles in the owner's in person so this means that when people pay uh, to that still um you are going to receive money in into your, your your phone number the phone number that's that is linked to your till um, and then you have this individual again that settles uh, to the bank and also to the uh, person number okay so what this means is that you can choose whether this money is, is to be is to be sent when somebody sent the money is to go to the bank or to your mpesa and i asked for the good news is that i asked for um I, I emailed the uh, the mpesa api team and they told me that this can be integrated with uh, uh with the website they can it can be integrated with the part, third party application like website so this is very easy for the individuals if you need it uh, you can apply for it but then um, this one will have issues this one will have issues but we'll talk about that later so let's just look at the requirements so for individual you only require the the copy of national id and then the front and back only those and then we have this the individual one 
that settles um, to the bank, you'll need the copy of cancel check or letter from bank stating a bank details um, as per cert certificate of registration. So this means that you need to have a bank account. So you go to the bank and then they write for you a reference later. Mm, I think it takes, um, depending on your bank, for cooperative bank, it takes, you have to give 1200 shillings for them to write for you that later. Okay, so, uh, and then you have the sole, let's go to the individual, this one, we talked about it actually. So let's go to sole proprietor that settles to the owner's phone. You just need the certificate of registration or business permit, and then the copy of national ID back and front. And then a sole proprietor that settles to M-Pesa account in the bank, you need a, a, like a letter from the bank or cancel check, copy of a certificate of registration or business permit number. And then you also need a copy of individual KRA pin, copy of national ID back and front. So those are the ones that you need. So I think this one is easier, you just, up yeah, you, if you are you want you have a small bill you are setting up your business you can just apply for this and then it does not require many details a lot of details like unlike this limited liability company so you can see limited liability company you need annual return returns filing with the filing receipt cancel check a letter from bank company care pin copy of certificate of incorporation copy of cr12 Valid 90 days copy. You can see all these details. This is for limited liability company. So um, I think most people apply for this. Okay. Um, so you, what you'll have to do is just come here and select the one that you want to apply. If it is this one, uh, just click on that and then click on apply. So on the application here, you can see you'll get different. Uh, details require they require different details depending on the one that you're applying for so for example this you can see business email so it's very good to note that this business email meaning that you should not use your personal email you should use like a web mail like um like if your website is uh, example.com your email should be something like info at example.com and I realize that if you send them emails with the personal email they are not going to reply I didn't send a lot of emails but they did not reply until I used the company or business email that is when they applied so you just enter the business name and then the category of business you have agriculture automobile business services you just select the category that your business belongs to and then here you have the business description here and then the individual care pin certificate of, of uh, okay whatever this and then your region so what is going to do when you enter your id what is going to happen is that um i think they have api that queries the 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 the, the data the id's data so it has to it will verify your id and then it will allow you to continue and then you'll get to the process where you have to submit some documents okay so let me try this so that you can show you okay let me not do that but actually if you go through this it is going to send you an otp that is one time password that you'll have to enter and then you'll move to the level where they require you to upload those documents that they require so in 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 case of this individual they'll require the id and then the front and back now i this portal sometimes uh, it does not work. I tried for like two weeks, it was not working. So what you have to do in that case, you have to visit the nearest M-Pesa customer care, the Safaricom customer care agent, and then uh, they, will, they are going to apply for you. And it should take 24 hours, and then it is going to be approved. Mm, but I realize that most of these uh, customer care agents, they don't actually know much about this API or the Raj API, they really don't know. So they are going to take you around, bring this document, bring that document, bring the company document, letter of what. Yet they don't know, they are actually, they don't know. I'm not saying that all of them don't know, but some of them, 
like a few i dealt with they they did not understand so they gave me the document that were not required i had to go to you go i had to go to the to the i had to go to mpesa shop again in in, in the cbd but i it also surprised me that many of them did not know uh, the daraja thing so i had to just send email to the, the this email that you used to send let us send now the experts in api are going to, to reply to you and they are going to approve it so if you want to integrate uh, with your third party application there are a few things that you have to do like approve all of the till is not an issue it takes 24 hours but then uh, there are other processes that you need to do if you are just applying this for integrating a third party application like on your website so what you require for example after applying uh, you require access to mpesa uh, org so let me just show you if we just do org dot mpesa in the first link you have to install certificate and press certificate there and this is organization portal you need to access this organization portal for you to be able to, to for you to be able to set up the to automate that okay for for you to be able to integrate with the third party application you need to, to log into this portal so this this has to be created for it's called admin administrator portal okay so they have to create for you an administrator account for you to be able to log into this portal here if you don't that administrator account there's no way you will integrate that until with the third party application so for them to do that you'll have to send email to uh, mpesa business in the email is m m m pesa okay sorry for that m Pesa business uh, at safaricom.co.ke. So this is the this is the um, the the email. So use that email. Um, you send the, the email and then I, I I repeat again. You need to use the official email. You need to use like uh, I, I I said this. You need to use your business email not the personal email the personal email they may take they may not reply to that personal email so use the use the business email and then they are going to respond to you mm, but then before doing that i think i'll talk about the process of sending that because there's a form that you need to fill and then you need to stamp that Okay, you need to stamp that form with your stamp. So let me just, I think I can retrieve it. Okay, now this is the form that you need to fill. Okay, you can see MPESA Business Administrator form. So you fill this and the form, and then you send, you stamp it. You make sure that you've stamped it, because if you apply for the till, they are going to give you um, a store number and also the till number. So the store number, the one that you're going to fill here, and then the other organization name the preferred administrator name all this you have to fill here and then if you are applying this if you are applying for the new administrator account if you are updating you'll have to mark this if it is still you have to you will mark this by goods okay and then after that make sure you, you enter your name here the date and then you make sure you stamp it with your stamp you use your, your stamp to stamp it and then you'll send this uh, this form here to mpesa business at safaricom.ca.ke and then after doing that uh, they are going to reply to you and this one has to be sent with the id back and front and and then, then the business certificate you have to send it the business certificate uh, if you don't do that they are going to reply to you to requesting for those details so it is uh you fill this and then you attach the id back and front and then you attach the, the business certificate and then you send to mpesa business so they are going to to approve it i think it takes 24 hours but 
um sometimes it takes longer than that it can take like two days okay um, so after that um what you are going to do after now you've received they have approved this and they have created for they have sent you the the login details to mpesa.org you are going to come here and then you enter the short code username they have created for you and then the password the default password and then it's going to happen that they're going to lead you to the page where you you change your password and after changing the password they now i take you to the portal where now you can set up or new, you can create new operators um and then you can after getting them you can now go to the safaricom developers portal and click and click on go live so if you already have those details you have set up in the mpesa.org.ke you go to a uh, developers portal so safaricom developers portal and now it is here now you you log in and after logging in you after logging in you can now uh, click on go live here so when you click on go live they are going to ask you for the short code the organization uh, okay this one is the short code verification type short code and then they are going to ask you for verification organization short code uh, which is your either if you are using the till it is going to be your store number but you are, if you are using pay bill it's going to be your pay bill number then organization name the organization name is the name of the organization that was registered um, and then here mpesa mpesa username is the username that they created for you and then after that you just click on accept and then you go to the next um, and that is it and then it's not that long the way it used to be um, okay so that will be it it's going they are going to automatically give you the, the consumer key and the consumer secret Mm, and then after that you'll go to you, you'll go and create uh, do another email to api support and ask them to approve your your uh, app so the api support i think it is api support at safaricom.co.ke mm, so just send email to that and ask them to approve your your application and then um it will automatically be approved but remember that for till if you are doing c2b or if you are doing stk push you require api key okay not is it key you, you require <laughs> what do you call it you require that key that they have to send you so that you'll uh, i don't know why I, I keep uh, forgetting the name of that key but they'll they have to send you so that you're able to integrate uh, to complete the integration to your application so basically that is a summary of the process but in case you have any questions uh, let me know in the comments section and i'll reply to them thank you so much